Hello everyone! Welcome to St. Sebastian International School online class where your potentials are nurtured and strengthened. This is Teacher K marching on to teach MAPE Health for Nutrition. So, how are you students? I hope that you're doing well at this very moment. But before we begin, let us pray first and ask God for the guidance in this lesson discussion. May I request you to bow your head and close your eyes. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for making this day possible. That despite of pandemic, we were able to deliver our lesson to our student. I'm asking you, dear God, to please guide me as I teach my student, and may you give them the wisdom, the knowledge that they need to understand their lesson. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, student, before we proceed with our lesson, let me introduce you to the five eyes of this module. What are these? Part one, I know what to do. Part two, I am prepared. Part three, I love meaningful discussion. Part four, I remember. Part five, I can do this. Students, Part 4 and 5 will be uploaded on my next video. This will be a part of our lesson 2. Today's topic for Unit 1 is about nutrition. What is nutrition? Students, let me remind you to also read your module so that you can get the exact definition of the word and for me, right now, I will be giving you more examples to make it easier for you to understand. Nutrition. Let's say, for example, if you are eating papaya. Papaya is rich in vitamin A. That means it's good for your eyesight. That is an example of nutritious food. Because nutrition helps you support your growth and development. So remember to eat nutritious food. Lesson 1. Getting to know food. What is food? Do you have any idea? Food is everything that you eat. From breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even snack are all food. But not all, all food are healthy. Some are unhealthy. So you must choose what you're eating. Food supports your growth and development for everyday performances. So choose healthy. What are the food origin? We have two food origin. First one are from the plants, such as your fruits and vegetables. Another one are from animals. These are your fish, your eggs, hams, poultry, and plenty of more. So remember, two food origin are from the plants and animals. What are the components of food? First, water. Second, fiber. Fiber such as your fruits and vegetables. These one are very important components of food because it will help you with your digestion and to avoid you from getting constipated. But wait, what does constipation mean? Constipation means is that you are having a hard time pooping. So for you to have a normal bowel movement, you must eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. And lastly, we have our nutrients. And these are fruits, vegetables, whole grains, dairy, healthy fats, herbs, and spices. So remember, there are three food components, the water, the fiber, and the nutrients. Remember that 70% of our body is composed of water, so you must drink plenty of water 
For kids, you must drink at least 8 to 9 glasses of water a day. Or, right after sweating out after doing some exercises, don't wait to feel thirsty before you drink water. Replenish your body right away. There are four essential nutrients. The first one is protein. Protein fuels our body to perform our tasks every day. Examples of protein are from the meat, from the poultry, from the egg, chicken, and plenty of more. We also have the vitamins and minerals. These are the soldier of our body. It protects us from any harmful diseases, such as COVID-19. We have vitamin A. This one is good for your eyesight. Vitamin B. This one is good for healing wound fast. Vitamin C is for your immune system. Not only that, you also have your vitamin D. Good source of vitamin D is from the sunlight because it helps your bones and muscles grow very well. Not only that, it also protects you against cancer and will help you stay focused and to have a good memory. But do not expose yourself under the sun too much. It might damage your skin. Also, you have water. Remember that 70% of our body is composed of water. So drink at least 8 to 9 glasses of water a day. Water flush out toxins from our body. It also normalizes your temperature. So remember, drink plenty of water. And last one, we have our carbs. Our carbs gives us the energy. Good source of carbs are from the bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, and plenty of more. So remember to eat breakfast every day because it will give you the energy to perform your tasks every day without the feeling of getting tired easily. Remember that fatty food is also very good because it provides you with a very good source of energy. But this food group is kind of tricky, so you must limit eating oily foods or fatty food, or else you'll get fat. Eat right, think right. Remember to eat at least five portions of different fruits and vegetables every day. Choose fruits and vegetables with different colors and have mixtures of cooked and fresh food. Especially for the mommies out there, this one will help you increase the appetite of your children because they can see it very attractive when having different colors on your food. Also, make sure to get enough exercise every day, if not, at least twice a week. Additionally, tell your mom to pouch, grill, bake, boil, steam, or microwave instead of frying or roasting in oil. Eat variety foods that are rich in protein. Avoid too much sugar like candy, cakes, and sweets. And lastly, avoid adding extra salt in your food on the table. Drink at least 8 to 9 glasses of water a day. Food label importance. Reading labels in food package helps us choose products that are healthy, nutritious, and beneficial to our body. Food labels provide a name, description of the content, storage, and handling national facts and the date of expiration and manufacturing. Nutrition facts are used to inform people about products. So remember, be a wise consumer. Read the food label before you buy so that, so that you can see the nutritional fact and benefits, especially if someone is allergic to peanuts or so whatever, you must read the content before buying to keep it safe. And that's it for today. Thank you so much, student. So if you have any question, please don't hesitate to send me a message. Okay, for your concern, you can send me through GC and also to our Facebook page, SSIS McCollett. My line is open for your concerns. Thank you so much for listening. 
please stay safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.